Hello YouTube, this is Baron's Beauty. Yes, I'm back and I do apologize for my absence. This is definitely not the way I would have wanted to start my YouTube journey. I, I'm, I'm sorry, but what can I say? Life happened. Um, going, getting through the holidays, I was um, found myself gotten very sick. And then upon me getting well, it seemed like everybody in my family, in my household, gotten sick. So as a mother, as a wife, I had to step up and get them um, back in good health. And then after the holidays, we end up having a death in the family. So, um, you know, everything is just now trying to get get back together because I shall conquer and keep going. So, yeah, I just had wanted to come and do a quick video um, letting you all know exactly what you can expect from Baron's Beauty for the new year. 2013. Okay, so um, let me just run down some things that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be bringing you all some videos. I know I have to continue my regimen. I think I did a few videos on my pre pull my detangling process, and as far as my text likes, I didn't even get to show you how I do my text likes. I was only able to show you how I prep for it and let you know what products I use and the final results. But in terms of how I actually apply it. I'm going to be bringing a video um, to you the next time I do my text lux process. Um, I'm going to be bringing some videos on um, the different products that I use, bringing some videos on different products that I sell, and that is by request. Um, I am going to be doing some videos on tips. Some, just some quick tips on what has helped me in my hair care journey. I'm going to be bringing some um, videos on um, different treatments, different hair care treatments that I do. I love treatments and conditioning. I don't know if I've told you all that, but conditioning my hair and doing treatments on my hair, I love them. Okay, I just be in hog heaven. I love them. Okay, I think it's because at that time I can pamper my hair and I love that. But um, just to name a few treatments I do, I do a molasses treatment. I do a honey treatment. I do a yoga treatment. I even do a detoxing treatment. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be bringing, oh, henna. And actually, I'm going to be doing my henna today. So following this video, um, sometime today, you all, I'm going to upload a video on how I prepare my henna and how I apply my henna. So um, henna is something I had not done in over a year, okay? Um, it's not that I've been neglecting my hair with... Um, giving it a strengthening process because that's what I use henna for, the strength benefits of it, the conditioning benefits of it. I just have been using other things to um, give me that strength. Not that henna has not worked. It's just that whew, going through a pregnancy, taking care of a baby, the process is too long and tedious for me to have been able to do it. But things are, are, are easier now. So I'm going to start back doing it. And another thing is I'm going back to the basics. I'm going back to what I used to do when I first started my hair care journey years ago. Because as you all know, I know I keep mentioning it because I can't get over it. I have cut four and a half to five inches off of my hair due to um, some damage after I had my baby. And um, so what I'm doing is I done pulled out my notebook from when I used to, you know, keep you know, uh, write little notes, you know, about what I'm doing to my hair. If it worked, I would write what I'm doing, what products I'm using, and I'll come back and I will also, um, I guess you will um, say I would rate the products, rate the treatment on whether or not it's something that worked. Was it too drying? Was it, you know, to this, to that, what I need to add it to it next time. So I went and got my handy dandy notebook out from years ago. And I'm, like I said, going back to the basics. What are some things that I used to do in my hair in the beginning of my journey that one, gave me ultimate health? Okay, because that's what's most important, health. Two, what gave me quick growth? And those are the things I'm going back to because a lot of things that I used to do that I don't do no more, it's not that they didn't work. It's just that we tend to hear about other products and we'll jump on that bandwagon and those products be, you know, just as good. And we just run with that until we hear about something else. So I'm going back to the basics because I need to, um, first of all, I need to make sure that that breakage, what I went through, 
I don't go through it again, but also that I can get back what I lost and more. Okay. So yes, I'm going to be starting back incorporating um, Hannah back into my regimen. And uh, like I said, I'll be bringing that video on today. Um, I'm going to be doing some videos on, um, I think I said hair care tips, but also on how you care for the um, the equipment, the utensils that you use for your hair, like your combs and your brushes. And these are things that are very, very important. Are you cleaning your brushes? Are you cleaning your combs? What are you cleaning them with? Okay. Um, I found that the things that you clean them with has a lot to do with how long those things last, how long your brush lasts, how long the bristles um, last. So I'm going to be doing uh, a quick video on those things because again, like I feel that those things are very important, especially uh, with the health of your hair and the health of your scalp. Um, I'm also going to be bringing some videos on how to save the bucks. Let me tell you, being on a hair care journey, it's not cheap. If you're like me, because I take this thing serious, okay? People on YouTube, on my hair care forum board, even um, some of my clients, even people that um, buy from me, you know, they come talking about, you know, well, I tried this and it worked. And, you know, then I want to run and I want to try it. You know, I want to try that treatment. I want to add those two products to there and see if, you know, how it do for me. So this is not no cheap journey. And... You know, unless you got some deep pockets and don't mind them deep pockets being spent on just hair care stuff, I want to come to you all and tell you some ways that you can save some bucks. Sometimes you can't save no bucks when it comes to buying products, but you can save some bucks when it comes to buying other things so you can have more money to buy products, okay? Like I said, I ain't got no deep pockets like that. You know, not complaining because I, I profess prosperity. However... I ain't trying to spend all my money on hair care products and uh, Miss Barron won't like that either, okay? So, you know, I'm going to bring a quick video on how you can save a buck or two. Like, for example, and I apologize, um, please excuse me, but um, this is my nighttime um, look. This is in the morning, um, but just because I'm just talking about it, and excuse me when I take this off, but you know, this is how I go to bed at night. But you see this? You see this silk scarf? And it's hard to even get the full length. Let me do this. Okay, I got this sitting right directly on top of my toes. Right on top of my toes. This is how long it is. Um, maybe you can see, and this is how wide it is. It is very long and wide. I probably could have cut this and made three, four, depending on how big, but three, four, um, scarves, hundred percent silk. I pay 75 cent for it because I went to my local material store here in, um, Atlanta, um, I'm speaking of Joann's, but you know, they have other ones, but you can go to your local, um, local material store and ask for, um, any satin scraps that they have or silk scraps that they have. What people don't know is when customers come in there and, um, purchase, um, purchase material, certain measurements, they end up, you know, having to, Get rid of the access. Well, guess what they do? Especially, I can tell you for a fact at Joann's. They take them, if it's a long piece like this, they take them, they fold them up, and they sell them for cheap, okay? This is 100% um, silk, and I got this for $0.75. Cent. I got a purple one. It was actually a doll, I guess, because um, they was about the same size, but it's probably because it's purple, and this is a little, you know, odd color. But, yeah. 75 cent and as you saw how long and how thick it is I could have cut this and made several um several smaller scarves but I like them big because you know it I can just make it look a little more decent and more decent than this but um because let me tell you honey I have a husband okay and I'm not gonna be walking around looking like no pigonese um 
you know, around this house just on this, for the sake of a hair care journey. No, I got to um, be looking decent. So I keep them um, long so that I'm able to, you know, give myself, you know, a little, a little knot. If I can get this right. And I just tuck the sides in. And, you know, able to, if I have to even walk around the house for a little bit, um, like this, you know, look good. You can put it, you know, put that to the side, put the knot to the side, but you know, do it up. But um, I know it look crazy, but nevertheless, um, like I said, hundred percent silk. They even have satin ones, whatever your desire is. But I'm like, you know, shoot, if you can get silk for uh, um, seventy five cent and a dollar, and I've had this for five years. Five years, okay. I bought this five years ago and the purple one. Purple one is still wrapped up with their little price tag on it because I haven't had to pull that out. But um, yeah, just go and I've heard that some stores even um they don't sell their scraps, they would just give it to you if you go in at the right timing and ask them if they have any scraps, any satin or silk scraps. They would sometimes go to the bag. Unfortunately, right here in my area where I go, um, if they are that big as this one is, they sell them. Only ones that they don't sell are just real little and it just wasn't enough to make um, make a scarf with. But you could make some other things with it. Just saying, okay? So, yeah, I'm going to be bringing some videos on how, you know, to help you save a dollar because that's me. Anything that come out, anything I see big, first thing I'm thinking is what around my house I can do to make a bootleg copy of that. I'm not trying to sell it. I'm just trying to save a penny for Baron's Beauty. That's me. So, yeah, I'm going to be bringing a video on that. Um, and if there are any other videos that you all would want me to do, please let me know. And, um... You know, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because I'm about to start bringing a lot. I'm about to get on this thing, okay? Um, and this is not, as I said in my first video, this is just not about my journey. But I want to take this journey with you all. Let's take it together. You know, let's communicate more with each other. What you're using, what I'm using, what didn't work for you, what didn't work for me, what worked for me, and what worked for you. Um, also, bring a video on how you can, instead of you find a conditioner that... You know, ordinarily you liked, but for some reason it just didn't give you enough conditioning uh, effects that you wanted or didn't give you the slip that you wanted. Things that you can do to um, to put in there to help you out with that so you don't have to just take a, a $10 conditioner and throw it away because it didn't give you the slip you want. I'm going to have some tips for you on what you can do for slip, what you can add to your products to give you that so we can start wasting money and stop you know, doing these videos where we open our cabinet and I'm guilty of it and we have all these products in there. I done started by getting them products and I use them and I, that's going to be part of them, the tips that I give you. How to how to save some money. You can be using those old conditioners as your pre-poo. Just saying. You can be using those old conditioners add you some glitch. We're going to get to that. Baron's Beauty gotcha. I gotcha. So, um, Yeah. Subscribe and again, I apologize for my absence, but I am back and we about to do this. Um, and again, any videos that you all want, put them, let me know. I'll do them um, if I can. But let's do this thing. Um, and like always, remember, no matter what you're going through, you're going to come out more than a conqueror. In Christ Jesus who strengthens you and remember that the joy of the Lord is your strength and his grace shall be sufficient through your weakness he make you strong okay so let him fight your battles and you walk in that victory like always mucho besos